This video is sponsored by BigMarleyMMA.com. Kyle Marley is up over 250 units in the last two plus years on his premium bets. Go to BigMarleyMMA.com and use the coupon code PROSPIX at checkout. That will get you 10% off his weekly packages. See, that one's a good fight. Um, you know, sometimes Glover will get, will get clipped with something not so hard and go down. And sometimes someone will put something real solid on him and he'll push right through it. So like his durability wavers in and out sometimes, which is odd. Um, I'm curious to see what Tiago is going to look like coming back from this long layoff. Uh, I will tell you that uh, he's heavy. He's big. He's really, really big. I seen him a month ago. And if you'd have told me he weighed 250 pounds, I would have been shocked. Like he's, he is a large man right now. Uh, I seen him last weekend and he looks, he looked leaner. He looks like he's, he's on his way down. Um, but he's, he's still like 240 probably. Yeah, no, uh, I think, uh, I, I think that if Tiago can't, can't knock out Glover. I, I don't. I, I think Glover wins that fight. Um, problem is Gl Glover's age and his and his durability does come in and out. Uh, I think that I, I, I think Glover. If that happens, I think Glover will beat him by decision. I think that he's just more fundamentally sound. I think his technique is a little tighter. I want Tiago. I think that Tiago is going to remind the world that Glover is 40 years old. Tiago is going to be explosive. Going to be hitting heavy. You're gonna have Glover going backwards. Once you start going backwards against a guy like Tiago, he smells blood in the water, he's gonna just put him away. Maybe in the second round. Yeah, interesting, right? Because Glover's an older vet and uh, and Tiago Santos coming off that surgery, right, with his knee. So we got to see how he looks. But, I mean, just based off of the, the competition he gave John Jones, I have to kind of lean towards Santos. I feel like he's more athletic guy, definitely uh, uh, more in his prime right now. And uh, I think he can get uh, get the job done by TKO. Uh, I think I'll lead towards Tiago. I think, you know, uh, Glover definitely has the more polished all around, like, just tight stand up, but man, Tiago's he's tough and hits like a truck and just uh he likes to bully people around in there, man. And I mean a guy who can fight through two torn completely knees, destroyed, man, I'm going for him. <laughs> oh, that's good. I am gonna you know the close share is, is pretty good. I'm gonna go with Tiago Santos because I feel like he's uh he's really uh, you know, been improving consistently, and I haven't really been following Glover Teixeira, so I, I, I shouldn't say that he hasn't. But I know that he just fought Jones, and I feel like when, when, when people fight Jones, they get better. You know, like they don't like fight him and then like fall down into a pit. No, they they get better than they've ever been. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go with uh yeah I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with him on that one. I loved I loved uh, Santos man after his last fight with with John Jones. I had man if if he didn't blow, he blew out both knees, I have him winning. I have him winning. I think he's gonna. He's tough to finish, but I think he could finish him. Ooh, that is a tough one. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go with Tiago. I'm just uh, just because I'm a fan of it. You know what I mean? I always like seeing him fight. I, I got a lot of respect from from him uh, when he fought uh, John Jones and blew his whole fucking knee out and kept fighting. Uh, I would think Santos Teixeira actually has a a better shot probably than people would think because he actually you know they always compared him to Mike Tyson, but he does well to stay in his guard, kind of like you saw him against uh, Anthony Smith, where, you know, he would absorb shots, but, like, stay in his shell well enough that he could, you know, take the punches but still return, and he'll have gas going later in the rounds. Um, so I think he'll put up a decent fight, but I think Santos is just too big and too powerful, and I don't think he's going to get, you know, even if he's just hitting – the guard of Teixeira for 15 minutes. I don't think it's going to tire him out that much. Uh, I think this is the guy that's got one last one last title push run in him, and that's Glover Glover Teixeira. So, uh, but Tiago Santos is an animal, so I think I'm going to go with him. Uh, you know what? Uh, Tiago, he's not fought since the Bones fight, right? You know, I... They're both so awesome, and Glover is such a class act, and Tiago just comes in, man. I think, if I'm being honest, he's really going to come in with a vengeance, you know? Uh, he showed really a lot of what he was made of in the Bones fight, especially all, you know, with the injuries, you know, all things considered there. And I'm sure he's had enough time to fully recover from those, you know, and I, I believe he had a double knee surgery after that fight. So, I um, respect both those guys, but I think Tiago's got this one. 
Glover, just because he's from because he he's from out here. He reps out here, so yeah. He's always repping New England. Oh wow! I didn't realize that was made. Wow, that's gonna be a good one. I mean, uh, I think I'm gonna have to go with Thiago Santos on this one, just because of his uh, athleticism and where he's at in his career. I just feel like he's gonna have the uh, slight advantage going into this fight, so I think he might be able to pull that one off. Oh, I think Santos knocks him out. Oh, I've, I, I think Glover's got it, man. That guy, he's he's hard to beat. He only gets beat by the absolute top top. Oh, damn. Holy shit. I don't even know about that fight. Woo! Jeez, I don't know, man. Uh, Teixeira, Teixeira's a veteran, and, he, and he's he's battle-tested. Um, but, man, that Thor's hammer's a son of a bitch, ain't it? Um, jeez. I'm going to go to share on that one. I'm going to go to share with the experience and, and just the veteran abilities. Man, being being up to PI uh, the last few months and stuff, I was overly impressed with, uh, with Thiago Santos, his mindset, and just kind of watch him do his recovery and rehab and stuff. And obviously, you know, he can fight like crazy. So, but, you know, Glover is one of those where you can never, never kind of, count him out i mean he's just oh, he, he hangs around if he shows up he's really really good uh it's hard to put away but i was just so impressed with with how tiago has been fighting lately and uh and just you know, kind of like this seeing up close personal view of his mindset and stuff i was really impressed so i'm gonna i'm picking uh tiago santos Thanks for watching this video sponsored by BigMarleyMMA.com. Kyle Marley is up over 250 units in the last two plus years on his premium bets. Go to BigMarleyMMA.com and use the coupon code PROSPICS at checkout. That will get you 10% off his weekly packages.